All right, guys, grab some snacks, sit down, buckle up, hang on. We're going on a road trip, and you're not going to want to miss out on this one. I promise. So for the next three or four days, we're gonna be on the road making at least three or four different stops. I don't quite have them all nailed in yet, so I don't wanna give them all away, but trust me, we're gonna come across some other YouTubers and see some really cool stuff along the way. I am, uh, I'm pretty doggone excited about it. I'm glad I'm be able to take you guys with us. But our first stop this morning is actually gonna be to CNC Equipment. We're gonna go see Clint and the boys this morning. They got a couple od D7F dozers up there I wanna check out. And uh, trying to be a good friend, I am. I hooked Clint up with a local guy that wanted to grapple, and we actually were working up in the area. We delivered the grapple for him, and there was a little bit of a mix-up. Apparently, we delivered the wrong grapple. That was like six months ago, so Clint, being the upstanding guy he is, he made it right. He switched everything out, got the local taken care of, but that one never made it back to his place. Our road trip takes us right by his place. We're going to do him a favor, load that thing up on the truck, and uh, get it back up there to him. And it gives us a good excuse to visit. So let's fire the other loader up this morning, get the grapple loaded up in the back of the truck. We're gonna grab some snacks and drinks, hit the road. Man, it feels awesome this morning. Just got that little bit of chill in here. Not quite time for a sweatshirt yet. What a Question. This is my good truck, not my work truck. Definitely don't want to drop this thing down in there. We're gonna fork it right there and see what happens. Well, surprisingly, that went rather smooth. Let's go uh, top over the gas and grab some essentials. We got the snacks, we got the essentials, we got the cooler pack, got the grapple loaded up. I believe we got everything we need for the trip. Let's uh, hit the road. First stop, CNC Equipment, Nashville, Indiana.
Well, we have made it. Oh, two hours later. Let's go see what Clint and the boys are up to. This it's an awful miniature Crown Vic there. That's, yeah, we're, you need to be over there. What do, did we go <laughs> from, uh, so you guys have followed Clint's channel, or Clinton's channel, maybe I'll get, I renamed you. I renamed a lot of people on the internet. <laughs> You're good at that. I am good at that. That's you, my car. Would you, the you, did car. you Did you give up on the real cars? Well, they got expensive real quick. <laughs> you should have been here about an hour ago. Somebody showed up for one and I tried to buy it. <laughs> so you still... Stuffed a whole army truck fender in the trunk of it. Really? Had it tied, yeah, tied down. He said, you guys are my kind of people. He's back here looking at old cars. So. <laughs> well, I'll walk in. I also did the old dozer. Yeah. You just had to honor the car. I did. You guys will have to check uh, check out Clint's channel for this one. I'll try to link you the video in the description. We just did a will it start. I don't want to spoil it, but it wasn't there as exciting as it could have been. No, that's usually these things are fire, but we've been working on it for about three hours this morning just to get to that that's, point. What, what did we decide this thing is a 1972 model? It's got like 50 years old. 46, 46 hours. 46 so. hours on it? Yeah. And that thing will probably still out push the old uh, 850. It'd be neat. I'd like to line them up. It would be. Yeah, side it by would side. be. Get, uh, both about the same weight. This is about twenty horse less, probably. But yeah, but uh, I'm not going to bet against. I'm not bet, straight. I'd say they're going to be pretty close. Yeah, now. I'm not going to bet against the OK cat. Now, if I had to spend four hours on one, I'd probably yeah. choose this one. If I had to spend, <laughs> if I had to spend a whole week on one, I may have to go with the LJ. So. Straight, but not the LJ. All right, well, as always, you guys got all kinds of projects around here. I've seen some videos on the new shop truck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's uh, together. <laughs> Don't mind a couple of weeks. I had to change the part out this morning. So. <laughs> well, you know, uh, this is my least favorite, favorite brand. least favorite brand here, so whenever you say it's together and leaking, I fully believe you. <laughs> Oh, there's a whole bunch of videos coming out on it, so. I seen, uh, in one video, I seen the uh, office help out here. She's been out here a few times. She's pretty happy it's all together now. Yeah, I was going to say, has she paid all the bills yet, though? She got smart and had an app to start emailing them directly to her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't need those anymore. I'm getting them emailed straight to me. That's when she comes out. <laughs> I'm glad to see things aren't any different up here than they are back at my place. So. Same old thing. All right, well, uh, I have your missing grapple bucket. Oh, you had it for about a year. Somebody has. I don't even like that. I was trying to explain that you tried to do a favor. I tried to do a favor. We both screwed the favor up, and then you made it right. I, I, and... I stayed out of that part. <laughs> so... That's Uncle Scott's fault. <laughs> I didn't even know I had an extra bucket down there until somebody told hey, me. Hey, and I got two hydraulic fan drives, Steve, for you, too. I remember it. There you go. From might, uh, might need those again. R850J debacles. Long time ago, so. Long time ago. All right, well, we're going to get unloaded. We may, uh, I'm going to try to talk them into uh, racing an RC car here. We ain't charge yeah. the batteries? We got them, don't we? We got to cut a few laps. Maybe. I mean, I hate you to. You got to watch Kevin, though. He's, he's, he might be the, <laughs> might be the cheater. Is time. he the guy, is he the guy that goes RC racing with his helmet on? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So Jay, I don't remember the details on this one, but I just remember we got the wrong bucket in the wrong truck. You know, I don't even remember the details. I had to ask Clinton this morning if we owe you a bucket. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> now this was for that uh, Isaac that bought one and, and Matt picked it up for him and somehow we ended up with the wrong bucket. You know how that is trying to do the favorite deal. At, the friend deal didn't quite work right. Good to go. She's all yours now. Well, good, because we were right out of buckets. We have a nice, what is that, 76 inch for sale? Yep. I also see a nice 700J dozer over there. Just came out, just took videos of it. I should pop up today. I'd walk over there, but I'm afraid I'd go home with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's decent, it's got some hours. Yeah. Hey, man, it's just broke okay. in. That's the good old machines. But use it on that pond job, if you remember. Oh, yeah, okay. Doing that, did the fish grade with it. Been fully serviced. There you go. Heck yeah. I thought we were supposed to be working. Well, it's Friday. <laughs> Usually we do this after work. I'm just trying to figure out how come I got deemed the car that has the uh, operator in my, well, you know what. That's actually Tucker's car. He's not going to be happier driving it. Uh, he likes his stickers, though. <laughs> I see that. 
So we're gonna trade in the, uh, the go karts and the. Hey, it's a lot cheaper in front. This it's is. This is. It's a lot safer. It's a whole lot safer unless you stand right here in this turn. I don't know if I can. Uh, Sorry. I gotta figure out a way to hold a camera. Hey, let's and a, we got, we got Oh, a we do. It's race time. Why is this so much fun, Clint? I don't know. Let my car quit over in turn two. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Kevin sabotaged his boat. Oh, he. This is this is how he wins. It's not by being the fastest car. <laughs> if we keep going. It's gonna be a real like a real NASCAR race, a race of nutrition. Take him out, Jay. <laughs> He's over laughing at you, dude. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my car died again. Had a little more time for track prep. Yeah. We'd have a heck of a race. <laughs> <laughs> well boys it was a fun visit as always kevin i apologize me and clint kicked your butt in the racing out there oh no 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 i think you need to go back to the footage we did and you're disqualified so i, think I, need, I think need to have an after race inspection yeah. um, post race inspection post -race. failure no. No. So, automatic last place um, <laughs> But uh, got me. You guys need to go on his website. I got the uh, operator. My I'm gonna call it an operator. My donkeys. Yeah. That's uh. Tucker just printed a whole bunch yeah. more off. So got the new the new hat. Hats are on there. I too. see a, a new dozer out there. I like to have it. I'm not gonna go look at it because I don't want to go home with it yet. Go ahead. If you ever get a job, we can bring one of these out. We should talk. <laughs> <laughs> you remember what happened last time you sent a dozer out for me to test some tune on? Oh, I can haul it back home. <laughs> So let's talk about serious stuff. I hear a rumor around here we got a painter. Uh-uh. No. No? No? no. I, ain't no I ain't never heard of that. Because ironically, I have a truck that could possibly need to be painted. Yeah, the problem is I don't think it's a truck. It is a truck. I think it's a moving home on wheels. <laughs> no, that's out back right now. Yeah. <laughs> I see it right back there. Mm. You know the project? Like I have Lieutenant Dan that never gets done. Bring this up. Here come the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When are you going to finish that? It's your comment generator back there. You know what ended that project? Was you bringing your trailer. Oh, well, I knew yeah. somehow this is going to be my <laughs> we fault. We, we was, pulled it out. We right pulled then. it out. See, and what then you're trying to say, you're trying to say is Thank you for saving me from my own project. <laughs> we needed a break. So, and I'm trying to save it from you for this winter. Oh, by oh, painting well, a truck. 
That's awfully kind of you. It is. Such a thing. <laughs> I mean, so if from, all the way from the beginning, it's nothing about, you know, what's best for you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jay's over there like, now wait a minute. <laughs> it's not quite how I remember it. Nothing productive All right, I've wasted enough of your guys' time. I got to hit the road, as always. See I'll call you Clinton. I'll get your name right this time. Somebody will. I'll rename it, so. <laughs> Kevin, my painter. <laughs> Jay, as always. You, yeah, thank you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, All right, guys, just got back in the truck. I left CNC equipment, man. What a good group of guys. It's probably a good thing they're not closer. I'm not sure if we'd get anything accomplished. But that begs the question where are we off to next? And we are on our way to Bowling Green, Ohio to meet up with Matt from Diesel Creek and possibly a few other YouTubers. They got an antique equipment expo up there and we're gonna go check it out. So let's hit the road, hammer down and see what's on the other side. I guess, hey, hi to your people. Of course, you got your camera sideways. You're being all rookie. Well, I'll right rotate the edit. So, where have you drug us out to? We are in Bowling Green, Ohio at the HCEA uh, equipment show. I'm so. glad you got that right because I've tried that like three times to say no. I was video. running it over this morning in the mirror. <laughs> but you're, so, you put a lot more effort into your stuff than I did. Yeah, not really. Either way, check it out, man. We got all kinds of awesome stuff to go check out. We went through our training this morning. We got to show off our official. Yeah. Operator buttons. Yeah. Who's make the, the operator now. Make the diesel creek but diesel creek hat look good. So Frank's around here somewhere. Which direction are we going first? I, don't know. I guess we go walk through the mud before it gets any muddier. Yeah, that might be a problem. I see smoke. Let's go that way. Alright. Well guys, thanks to an invitation from Matt from Diesel Creek and Frank and a few other guys. This is my first time up here at this show. And it is uh, quite a bit different than the one I went to in Brownstown or Brownsburg or the Pike Antique Steam Show. They got uh, not near as much of equipment, but man, they got some really random oddball stuff. I'll kind of show you guys here a little bit later. Check out this setup. They got a K2 link belt. I think it's a 1926 model loading a cone crusher. It's got, I don't even know what you guys want to call this apparatus here. It's got little bucket wheels on it, takes it up and loads it and it goes back to the end up there. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool old setup and a lot of other cool stuff around here. So long story short, let's walk around, kick some tires, kick some tracks and see what we can find. Right off the bat, it sucked me in 1959 D6 9U. This is pretty much a Twinkie to the uh, dozer we drug home. And this thing here is in pretty mint shape as well. You can see somebody's already eliminated the pony motor on this one. It went straight to electric start. But this one here also has the hydraulic track adjusters on it, which is pretty, pretty sweet. This one has much better undercarriage on it, but definitely got me itching. Definitely got me itching to get back home and get the uh, get the dozer gunner and I drug out of the weeds back going. Nice, nice machine. So these things here interest me quite a bit, guys. This is a 1952 Cleveland wheel trencher. Back in the day, this was the primary way they put in a lot of field tile. These things are still made and produced today, but it's kind of cool to see, just like any piece of equipment, kind of where they started and where they come from. Look at all the chains, cabling. So simple, but uh, so effective. Looks like this one here could probably lay up to 
I'm guessing up to 12 inch pipe would be my guess. They can eject dirt out either way. That's what this thing does here. So as this bucket wheel comes around, it scoops up dirt, holds it in here, falls out on top on that conveyor, and it'll eject it out either way. So look how simple it is. It just got an old rear end. I mean, it's only got a car, engine, transmission, and rear end right there. They're just turning different things other than the wheels. If anybody's interested, there's the original plate on it right there. I hope you guys, I hope I don't bore you guys with this stuff. This stuff's just extremely neat to me. Check this out, guys. This is basically a 1920 prototype tractor. I think there's a few of them built that never actually made it into production. That's the kind of stuff you don't see every day. Heating shader up there on the front, it's got a belt and a fan on the other side over there. And check this out, it's a little big bug. You guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that guy's been on Welker's channel. Uh, talking about that thing, got a little bit of the engine in it. Pretty cool setup as well. So you guys have followed Matt's channel. This is a different version of the Lorraine shovel he has. This one here has a telescoping scoop bucket on it. We believe it was used for underground mining. Only one of the time existence that we know of, and it didn't have to fire it up and get inside of it. So, that was what we're doing now. Absolutely fascinating to watch work. So the best we can gather, this thing was used to load trucks and undergrounding mining operations. The generator on the back only served one purpose. And it was to run all the lights. You can see it's got a bunch of random lights on it, which again would kind of indicate it used to be run underground, but pretty wild.
This is why these shells are bad influences. Now I want one. I want one. Well, there's you only two the of them around. I'm gonna one of the six <laughs> this guy owns one. both of them. I'll be a scaled up bird. This thing's cool though. Yeah, I think it's Pretty neat. Cutting slopes in no time, folks. Are the controls on new ones still comparable to this, or is it a completely different thing? I'm all choice. Yeah, I figured as much. They got a 631 scraper on them. Perspective on film, the size of this equipment. Yeah, that's a big scraper. That's a big scraper. Let's try to get a little bit of video of here push loading scrapers. So, the way these things work, he'll come in here, drop his bowl, and you guys will see him kind of start to cut. And eventually, he'll get to the point to where he can't pull it. And they got an old D9 back here, he'll come in behind him and shove them on through. So, we're going to go ahead and get linked up here before he even gets going. That blade is actually built for pushing scrapers. It's got an extra, uh, extra uh, piece of steel out there in the middle. There we go.
piece of steel plate right there in the front of it up every bumps the back of them scrapers they don't put a dead jolt into that into that dozer little alice set up here coming through these things were super popular back in the day hydraulic excavators and the cost of fuel it kind of went away a little bit but there's still a very very effective way of moving moving dirt See how the blade on that works? It actually pivots right there on the track, so if he goes to raise the blade, that still on the back will push down and raise the blade up on the front. What the world? I've never seen anything like that. Gate of track, long gate of track. I think we've said that a lot here. I've never seen that. I have, I have said a lot of that. Nineteen eighteen five ton armored. I guess it wouldn't be a tank made by Holt, which eventually become Caterpillar tractors, but man this thing's got a really nice restoration job on it. It is very clean. I could not imagine. What did you say a while ago it moves at the speed of smell? Half the speed of smell. Half the speed of smell. Bullets are faster. Somebody's done a nice job on preserving this one. Real nice job. Oh, see how these cleats are removable on here? You could have a flat track or cleat track. That's uh, that's that's like four wheel drive or two wheel drive. Engage mud mode or or non mud mode. What Six do you think? Six hours with a with a crescent wrench, and you can have this thing back. <laughs> I'm thinking, tracking. I'm thinking this condition is giving me more like six hours of the smoke wrench. What do you think the plumbing's for here? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Maybe kind of a hydraulic pushing kind of thing, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. Different. I'm sure somebody in the comments will let us know. Pretty cool. I think these are all oil, so you pull these plugs out and fill those with oil. Cool. Pretty neat, man. That engine is immaculate. That's cleaner than the engine in my truck. That might be cleaner when it come out of the factory. It probably is. How come we went shopping? I come away with all this stuff. <laughs> I spent a little bit of money. <laughs> this is the part of the video we gotta hope Jenna don't watch. For the record, I'm not carrying this for myself. <laughs> I'd like to, but he saw it first. <laughs> yeah, finders keepers. That's a deal on that thing, man. Rich the box, bucks, 25 bucks. He's seen it first. Oh yes, takes me back to my childhood, so. All right, quick trip to the truck and then uh, back to the old equipment. Totally random. Check out the brake band on this old roller. Just a metal strap, bunch of pieces of wood around there. Got a little lever, it tightens it up. Got her done back in the day, boys. Got her done. So check it out. They got the uh, rotary crusher all set up and going. Look, it's an Alice Chalmers crusher of all. Using the link belt clam bucket to load it here. And actually powering the crusher and the speed engine. Nineteen twenty six leak belt K two. Russell steam engine running the crusher.
I can't quite get the name off the loader up there, but it looks like what a very unique piece of equipment for sure. Pretty neat setup though. example of stuff you just do not see every day. Look how he's steering that thing. There's a little hydraulic gear up there in top and rotates that back and forth. Got the option of steel roller or rubber. Obviously you can put ballast rock or whatever you want in the top. That's what's super cool about this place. All kinds of just totally random one-off stuff. Cable operated wheeled bulldozer Actually, that thing's uh interesting to operate to say the least neat for sure should we judge his grading skills on camera as he goes by looking pretty good to me it's a good thing you didn't see his shifting skills on the way here <laughs> i wouldn't check for metal flake later Oh, Christine sounds pretty good there, bud. Yeah, she smoothed out nice under there. She does. I'll give him credit, he's looking pretty smooth. Yep. Here are the little Detroit tractors pushing side by side. This is kind of the precursor to the skip steer back in the day. One's got like a little four in one bucket, that one's just got a blade on it. Why do, why do I want one? Why do I want one? Nice job on that one. That's... What's that? Yep. Right there. Yep. How you feel about electric start right now? Yeah. <laughs> Battery dead. There we go.
this is an old water pump, diaphragm style water pump. There's two rubber plugs in there. And I got a little thing right there in the center and the water starts coming up through there. There we go. Look at that. Now if that's not cool, I don't know what is. That's something you don't see every day. Check out the train here. We got the old rusty steam engine. Pulled a couple drag pan scrapers. Pulling a grater. We use the rotation of the tire to help load the scoop there a little bit. I'm not going to pretend like I act like I know how it works, but that is that is cool. Dump the dirt out the back, coming through with the grater. Look at that. Pretty doggone cool. Pretty cool. Second time on a cable shovel. First time really running it, so how'd I do? Don't hold back. Oh, did well. Well. Yeah. I didn't even pay him. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a pretty cool experience. Well, guys, I believe that's going to be a wrap on this trip. Matt's up there with George running the big uh, drag line there. Huge thanks to everybody come out and said hi. I believe this is the HCEA, Historical Construction Equipment Association, here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Pretty cool place. I definitely recommend anybody that's in the area. Even if you want to travel to check this stuff out to uh, make a trip here, it's pretty cool. So, uh, like I said, really cool. People come to said hi. Pretty doggone neat. I had an absolute blast hanging out with Matt and Frank and uh, a few other fellow friends here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed tagging along. If you did, give the video a big old thumbs up. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on where the next stop's going to be, I'd subscribe because I think you guys are going to be interested in that part. We shall catch you on the next one. Later.